thanks for joining me guys I'm gonna go ahead and get started so today we're gonna start with pachinko A really pretty pink some flash in here Let's see if I can show you guys I don't have a great camera set up yet, but we're working on it. I hung up this light though for the video, so hopefully you guys could see a little better shot. You can see it all over my fingers. It's got a kind of a goldish tone to it in the back. So, little Joe. Just kind of enough to wet the bottom of your cup. Hopefully you guys can see that. Close this bag up. Keep your face away. You want to be wearing your mask because this stuff is super fine. You don't want to breathe, breathe that stuff in. So we'll double bag it. So it's flying all over the place. All right. Just kind of want to wet it down. Stir real gently. You don't want to flake all that up. You saw how bad it was floating around probably in the video when I was just messing with the bag so you got to be careful always protect yourself first whenever doing any of this stuff all right so you really want to just get all the lumps out of it kind of turn it into a paste make sure you scrape the sides real well incorporate all that pigment powder into the liquid to liquefy all of it I'm basically trying to liquefy all that pigment powder There's the wife. Sorry. What are you sorry for? It's your studio too. All right. It's probably a little too much, Joe, but it's okay. We're gonna add our medium to it. Getting all messy. All right, here's my medium. Scuba, three little scoops. Let's see where we're at.
gently mix and fold your pigments in here. You don't want to stir up too many bubbles. It's going to happen anyways. Sure to get the sides of your cup. Incorporate all that medium in there. We're probably going to go for a two to four second trace, which is where it drips off the stick. Let's see where we're at. Sorry about the camera focus, guys. Like I said, I don't, I'm don't. using my phone. I still don't have a good setup. It sits down fairly quick. We'll mix the other paints and see where their consistency is at, and then we'll adjust. Yeah, beautiful. It's a real pretty color. Lots of sparkle in there. Let's move on to the next one. So let's put a cap on this real quick. It's going to get bubbles and stuff. Tap it a couple times every once and again, and you will get those out. All right, let's do the next one. Let me take a sip of my coffee here, readjust this a little bit. All right. Ah, coffee, the Lord's nectar. It's my favorite thing in the world. Does anybody else drink coffee like it's water and just pound it? Me either. <laughs> I don't do that. I swear. I might. All right. So you, this is really pretty sparkly, maybe a little silvery. All right, let's do this one. All right, again, let's put a little Joe in. Not too much, just enough so it can cover the bottom of the cup, probably did too much again but whatever you can adjust that's the thing and I might be doing this the wrong way I'm just taking some tips and from some friends that are really good at this I'm not saying any names thank you Josh Hutchinson Shaddix Art no shout outs here um, but yeah a couple tips here and there and I was able to get this a little bit quicker and figure out my ratios so thank you appreciate you you know that mm, can't really see that one too well all right oh yeah you know what let's just add some more that's really pretty That really sparkles. That's crazy. Beautiful. All right again. Try to let the pigments fall into the bag. Don't tap it too hard because you probably see on the camera they're flaking out there. 
gently close your bag. Try not to get a bunch of dust flying out like that. And then if you have a way to put it away, put it away. Yeah, I'm really messy. My wife will tell you that though. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let's do this. Really pretty. All right. Okay, again, you just want to gently incorporate it. A lot of it's already melted because I was trying to show it to you. and That's what happens. It, it'll liquefy and it clumps up like that. Just keep working it. This one kind of reminds me of like silvery Christmas ornament. It's white but silver. Super pretty. All right. So we got that pretty well incorporated. Wanna liquefy all of it and leave chunks in there all right so that's a medium one two three as y'all can see I was very precise very precise measured to the exact amount that I know everything's gonna be different for everybody and I know a lot of people know that but everybody's gonna do something different everybody's gonna use a different medium or paint or what's available to them everybody's gonna have a different environment and temperature so the paints are gonna react differently Everything's gonna act differently, the varnishes, all your medium. So, you know, if any of these tips can help you, I am so glad uh, to provide them and thank you so much for coming to watch my video and learn a little bit about it because I'm just learning about it. So I thought I'd share what I can with you guys. Um, and thanks so much, you know, I really appreciate all the love and support everybody's given me and I know I'm new but it feels so nice to have everybody appreciate what you're doing and what you're trying to how you're trying to spread love back into the world and I do it through color and creation that's my way I can give back so this one's a little a little weird let's whip it whip it up a little bit more don't want to put it. that's not too bad okay let's see Number two down. Let's go back here. 
and give our pink a little tap. See all those little bubbles that just popped on there? I'll do that and show you on the white here in a second. All right. You guys want to do another one? Woo, 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 woo. All right, let's do that one. Angel blue. I haven't used this color yet. And I'm excited about it. Okay. What are we going to do here? Just a little Joe. Just a little. Oh yeah, look at that sparkle. Woo. That one's pretty. Angel blue. You don't even need to look at it anywhere else. Look at that. Alright. See all that pixie dust? Cover your face. Now, sorry, I tried to focus it. I think you could see the sparkle at least in that blurry picture. I'm making real, real small batches right now because I just want to show you guys what I've learned so far with mixing pigments. Please, if this is your first time uh, watching any of my videos, I just started doing this on YouTube. Uh, I'd love a follow, comment, subscription, anything. Any kind of support that you can help me with while I grow and try to bring more content. Please, let me know. Let me know what I could do better, you know nicely <laughs> please um yeah anything i'm very open so i'd love to make you guys happy i love to try to be happy you know it's part of why i do art is to relieve myself from anxieties before i started this i was in a pretty bad place i didn't know how to handle day to day even um, I just felt like I was getting worse and worse you know and there was a lot of negative things that happened in my life and you know I was hurting and uh, so when I found fluid art I started doing that more and more and it started helping my confidence and helping me talk to people more about art and at some point I was just trying to hide from everybody so it's been so great and I feel so blessed to have found this medium and found all the people that do fluid art and networking with a bunch of amazing people recently just the most amazing people um, it's been awesome Thank you guys. All right, let's check this one out. Oh, yeah, let's put some medium in that bad boy. One, kinda, 
two, three, almost, and a little more. All right, let's mix that in and see what we get. Well, it wasn't a lot, but let's see. Again, sorry if uh, it runs out of focus and in focus. Uh, I'm trying my best, but I don't have great equipment. So hopefully you're hanging with me and when it comes in focus, you're getting some good shots. pretty consistent with each other so let's make sure that's totally incorporated Okay. Then I'm going to use two cell activators. I'm going to use an American Floetrol mix. It's a Diox purple. And then we finally got Australian Floetrol after a year. So this is a, I think it's two parts Australian flow trawl, one part um, Amsterdam titanium white. All right, let's see what we got. Do some floral blue from Liquitex. Let's get a little bit down here to start base under it, right? Put a little base for the pigments to lay on, hopefully. Alright. It's probably too much, but let's do this. Alright. I'm going to do that pink. Pachinko. Some fluorescent pink from Liquitex. And we're going to add that silvery white pigment. Shoji. going to do a little bit of diox but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to put a little dot right here and we're going to put some around it. Let's see what that does. I 
Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna do the Diox. I'll do American Floetrol uh, Oxide Black, Amsterdam Oxide Black, and the White Australian Floetrol. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's try it. Pretty cool. Pretty. All right, well you guys get the idea. I'm gonna play with it some more and then I'll put up some shots online. Check it out, I don't know, I might leave it. It's beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining me, have a wonderful day.